Hello. Right, let me uh, do that. I believe I've dipped the volume of the garden a little bit, so you should be able to hear me and see this. What a lovely view, eh? The murky brown river. Um, that is really loud. Maybe I'll turn that down a bit, might be a bit distorted. I'm just going to have to do some checks to make sure it's all working. Uh, and then I can leave this phone alone, or leave the settings at home alone. Sorry, there, are, there is traffic and I'll show you that in a minute as to the situation we're in. Uh, I'm just going to check the audio. It's working, marvellous, okay. Oh my god, it really is loud of me. Okay. Let's just check the, the caption. <laughs> right. So, welcome. Um, I don't know if I can turn this round. Um, not that you want to see my face particularly. I'm just going to put my phone in my pocket. So, as you can see... There we go. So we're in, the, in a kind of part of the city, uh, West Sheffield, it's called Malin Bridge. And that river you just saw is where the River Rivelin meets the River Loxley. Uh, the River Loxley comes over the road right by Lidl there, which is where I used to get the meat for the badgers and foxes. Um, Malin Bridge is like this weird kind of a very large roundabout that goes around some houses and stuff. So as you can see, we're still in the, very much in the city. Um, anyway, I'm going to walk up this road um, so you can get an, an impression of um, where we're at. Just realising my the cable on this thing is pulling, so I'm just going to. There we go. And then we'll just we'll just meander. I won't say too much. Well, I don't want to get too many people's faces in. So this road is called Stannington Road. It's uh, sort of a hill. There's a lot of hills in Sheffield. Sheffield is built on seven, like Rome. So uh, just off this road, I live somewhere up there, just so you know, not, not too far away. But we can disappear down here. And this is kind of the beginning of the uh, nature trail. It doesn't actually say it there. It just says easy going trail. <laughs> it will say it somewhere. We'll actually come across some quite civilised parts like a cafe. Uh, I'll try and avoid the children's playground for obvious reasons. I mean already you can... Oh, <laughs> there's a man having a piss there. Probably shouldn't... Uh, film that. I was about to dive in and look at the lovely view but no, someone stood down in a slash. It's fairly unusual. <laughs> Welcome to the city. So it's still a bit sort of uh, still quite civilised at this point. You get like an electric substation. This is not the most scenic start. Yeah. Uh, this will go on. I can't get this steady thing right. Hang on. <laughs> I want it to be flat. I think because the cable's pulling it down a bit. <sighs> Hang on. Right, I'm going to unplug the cable. Just in case I need power at some point, yes, that feels freer. I'm just trying to keep the battery charged because I don't know how long it'll last doing this. Oh. Resident crows. What are you going to think is quite a lot of these things. A place where cutlery was sharpened and made. Um, there's like 20, 21 wheels or 21 dams leading to wheels, um, but they're all like, they're all ruins. But they were, they were made between the 1500s. 
and the 1900s they were actually in use. Um, obviously Sheffield's famous for its steel and cutlery and stuff. And it's all part of that heritage. So they, there is a sort of conservation group that makes the Rivlin Valley sort of, uh, sort of a memorial to all of that history. Because the River Rivlin comes from a reservoir about three and a half, four miles away. Uh, and before that, obviously, it was a very fast running water, so very good for sharpening things, using water wheels and water power, as it were. Am I going the right way? Yes. <laughs> so, this is all not very exciting yet. It still feels like it's on a bit of a tilt, this thing. It's probably, is that pulling? I don't know. Let me just try and re-tilt this. It's meant to be straight. There's a cat family there. Is that more straight? Yeah, it feels more straight. Right. Morning. So. I'm going to start diving into some of the more fun bits. So up there is still like a main road that was made in the early 1900s. It wasn't there before you said the valley, but it's called Rivlin Road, I think, or Rivlin Valley Road? Rivlin Valley Road. Uh, and they planted something like, what was that? I can't remember now, several hundred lime trees all the way down it, which the roots have ruined the road over the years. And it was a big campaign to save them a few years ago because they're going to chop them all down. But you get a lot of sites like this, you never know, that might be where Limpy lives, just under that bridge. <laughs> Could be one of billions of places. So I head into, into Rivlin a little bit. I will shut up at some point so you can just enjoy the uh, noise of the wind going through the trees. Just, I'm just going to untape something that I think is pulling down on the camera. Hang on. Right, sorry, this is my. I've never really done this before, so it's, it's a whole new, whole new exercise. Yeah, right, I'm using my right hand now. So. Better equipped. Not to. I'm so used to going through it that I don't really look, but all this old industrial stuff going on. I wish I had more history for you, but it's just it's just that really. They're all ruins of buildings and and water wheels and such like. few bird calls you might recognise. Don't ask me what they are. This is also a running route I sometimes do. I've done it once at night with a head torch and that was precarious. <laughs> That's a dog walker here so I'll just turn the camera away. Morning! We haven't got to the good bits yet, don't worry. This is all very much the beginnings. Which way shall I go? I'm just thinking there's a there's a pond up here. But there's also a lovely bit of running water, so I might have to do both. That's the problem, it does split off into some different routes, some nice paths. Just show you the duck pond because there's always a load of more hens and uh, mandarin ducks. I might actually catch one. Well, not literally. Obviously, 
obviously they've got business of catching birds. <laughs> Let's go to the pond and we'll come back down again. This probably was one of the dams back in the day. Oh, there's probably, probably actually an information site here. Let's have a look. Oh. It's Walkley Bank Tilt. Uh, it began as a mill making cutlery from 1762. There you go, I won't go into too much detail. Let's have a quick look at some pond life and I'll come back the other way because it's kind of Come on, Burbs, where are you? Oh, well, here's some ducks and things. Just the, the usual mallard. Come here. <laughs> I'm just going to check. Look, it seems like the bit rate's very low. Oh, we have a poor signal here. I've just tuned in and realised there's no signal. I mean, I am recording this, so hopefully that will remain. Um, um, I probably need to hold my my phone, my other phone out because it will obviously receive data a bit better. I'm just going to wait for it to catch up. See, it's definitely got data now, so I'm just going to check that at the other end it's coming in alright. Okay, is this streaming? It's trying, isn't it? Move it down there. Come on now. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay. It's going to be a bit patchy then, I think. I think you're going to have to just listen to the soundtrack more than the... <laughs> watch the thing. I don't know why it's got so slow. Um, I know, it, I can see it's trying, but... Technical demons. Always the way. Um... We underestimated the uh, what it would need to work. Let me just try tuning in again from scratch and just see if it fixes it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just take it slow. Well, there'll be a video at the end anyway, hopefully, if it works. Should be 5G down here, I don't know why it's so slow.
might just have a quick refresh, just see if I can get it to speed up. Um, it'll be, it'll glitch for a second. With a helicopter going over, that's so cool, isn't it? Seems a reset did the trick, so I'm going to keep my phone out of my pocket because I think that was I don't know what I've got in my pocket, but it wasn't it wasn't helping things. All right, I'm going to start the recording again. Sorry, I just realised. All right, could be that that slows it. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back. I've got to trust this is working. There's some water. <laughs> I don't know how much you've caught of my commentary, but I'll, have to, I'll check YouTube chat, see what they say. I managed to go a bit choppy. That's better, good, thank you. Actually, having your feedback is useful. Oh, slow down again. Ugh. Right, I'm just going to have to do the walk. It seems to come and go, so... Should we go over some stepping stones? impressed with this. Tested it last night and it was fine. <laughs> That's the way, isn't it? That's so annoying because it, it is working really well. Do I have to stand still? <sighs> Damn! Well, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Let me try a different setting. Um, I just don't know what's causing it to be so slow. Let's do a speed test. Speed on the network is fine. God, that's annoying. I don't know why it's so slow. <sighs> um, yeah, I have no idea how to fix this. Let me try one more thing. It seems to work for like a, a moment and then just drops. I don't know why that is. Well, I love things when they fall flat on their face. Let's just see now. Oh, someone's coming. Right, I'm just going to go with it. There's no point holding up the walk. I'm going to have a walk anyway, whether you like it or not. Um, I'll keep my phone out of my pocket, at least this is close by.
<laughs> it literally is like one picture every five seconds. It's funny because I can watch YouTube, um, but for whatever reason, it's just not quite enough to stream <laughs> to my house. It might get better as we progress. Disappointed though, because I know that there's a phone mast, right? <laughs> right, just literally at the end of this path. I just can't imagine why it's not picking it up. They're probably doing work on it and I've just picked the wrong day. Oh well, detracting from the walk somewhat. I'll just do the walk and mainly shut up. There's something really wrong with this because there is literally a phone mast that I know is connected to my network at the <laughs> literally to my right at this point. Um, I don't know whether just to, I might just do a quick reboot before I do the rest of the walk just to get everything, just to see if I can make it stable. So hang on in there, I've come to a main road, it's called Hollins Lane. There's a, there's a bridge there, oh you can't see it yet, but it's protected. So it's the most annoying junction in the world, but they can't do anything with it because it's grade 2 listed. <laughs> I seem to have a full signal now, how oh, annoying. It's still not working though. Right, I'm just going to do a quick reset. Let's see how that goes.
Hello, folks. Sorry. So I discovered something called low data mode, <laughs> and that might have fixed it. So what happened in the meantime, though? I've just got to test something. Just going to have it. Yes, that's working. Are we working? Yes, we're working. So this is my two doors down neighbor, Emma, and her, her son, Bruce, who I just happened to bump into. Say hello. Say hello, Emma and Bruce. There we are. You'll get lots of chat people going, hello. <laughs> um, right, so I think I fixed the problem. Yay. Thank you, Emma. Cheers. See ya. So there's a thing that the iPhone's introduced called low data mode. Brilliantly. Um, whilst connected to a hotspot, which is what my phone is. Um, I'm saying that now it's just gone to crap again. Why does it work for like five seconds? Hang on. Oh, thought I'd fixed it. Have not fixed it. Just a sec. I'm going to have to go out of this screen so it'll just go off for a moment. Okay, very weird that every time I come back it's just fine to start with, and then it just dips. Um, right, it's got to actually cross the road here. It's not, it doesn't seem like much of a nature trail, does it? But it is. It crosses roads. So, oh god, this is a nightmare, this junction. I can't even cross because there's people everywhere. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? You get to see Sheffield traffic. Right. <sighs> and now it goes crap again, just as I get into the valley. Excellent. Honestly. Oh, I forgot to record. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Oh, I keep forgetting to record in between these little videos. I hope it did actually save the others. I didn't think to down. Just press down mode. Hmm. Huh. Probably not. Well, let's do this walk. Let's see where we get to. So if it'll ever recover from, eh, it does seem to be doing something. God, I hate technology. It does seem very susceptible to just like the smallest movement. One thing I didn't do at two o'clock in the morning last night was walk around the house <laughs> or even walk outside. Um, I tested it on the same, with the same things going on. Oh, it's speeding up. Yeah, we might have a fluid image again in a minute. So this is the, uh, this gets very busy actually in the summer. This is, it's got a, uh, like a Lido uh, in the summer holidays where the kids come down and play. A little weird. This is the very sort of civilized bit. There's a cafe there. It does great Cornish ice creams. This is not a bill. It is updating. There we go. I can see it on there. It's slowly getting there. Uh, I think I'll avoid the playground. There we go. Just up and round. And then we actually get into the proper bit. Some toilets there. Lovely toilet block. Let's go round.
trying so hard but not getting anywhere. Just wonder if it'll ever speed up when it slows down. This is the thing. So, there's no point in me carrying on streaming if it's going to send one pitch every five minutes. <laughs> so strange, I don't understand it. Hang on. Let me try a different setting. Gosh, it might be nice if it stayed working. This is the weirdest thing. If I stop it, it works. <laughs> but it works for what? A minute? Less than that. Um, I'm going to continue. And uh, hope for the best. Slide down again. Quite often you see grey wagtails down here. What's racing through my mind is a million reasons why this isn't working. <laughs> and I, I don't know which one is right, but uh, it's something nerdy because my the phone this is connected to is, has got a really fast connection. So it's, it's just glitchy. We shall continue. Ah, sped up again. Well, I must stop paying attention. I'll just, I'll just do the walk. <laughs> Even if you can't see what I'm talking about, dog walkers. So I'm just going to point it right. Morning.
morning. <clears throat> Coming up is a little sculpture that was put up in 2011. It's a chair. It's made of coppice wood uh, to commemorate the coppice industry that was prevalent here, apparently. Do you know, I've got a book about this, and I read, like, I read a very, very brief thing about it last night. That's why I'm full of facts. <laughs> the sun is threatening to through there. There's lots of allotments on the left. Friends of mine have got a plot actually there, which is very handy. There's the chair. You can sit on it if you wish. Shall I go sit on it? Requires traversing the uh, treacherous river. Trust it to go slow now. dog walker overtook me so I'm going to overtake her surreptitiously. There's a magpie. Nice bridge coming up.
<coughs> in lockdown for many moments walking down here contemplating the universe <laughs> and when we get to the second half because it kind of crosses a road again I'll show you where I used to sit for a few minutes and just soak it all up it's quite a lovely little spot if we're lucky we'll have a signal Stop for a minute and check your comments, I think. Gremlins are the same as a company in trees in sphere. That's probably it then. <laughs> Yeah, it's gone slow again, so uh, I'm guessing when it goes slow you can hear me at least. I mean, I've got a full signal going on, so it's the badgers there playing havoc, wearing tinfoil and deflecting my signals just to trick me. Oh, it comes a dog walker. Just flip that over. Oh, yeah. I'm now a runner, so. Oh, I thought about the audio. God, I hate myself sometimes. I, I, I press the button to... Uh, to change the audio and um, uh, to, to make it louder, uh, I pressed the wrong button, so it hung up, and then it uh, it loses the recording. So <laughs> I'll just have to use the recording at home, even though it's glitchy, unfortunately. So I did just scream quite loudly in the middle of the valley when that happened. It's not quite turning orange yet. Some sunlight coming through there, it looks rather nice. It really does change an awful lot with the seasons, this place.
Yeah, we're back down to audio only. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to whatever still frame that's set on. Uh, we'll continue regardless. Seems to come and go. There's a big pond up here. <laughs> it's exciting. Not much wildlife is there so far. They're quite quiet. So what when I hold my hat if I hold my phone in the air, my the phone that this is connected to, this thing. <laughs> it it bloody works. I'm gonna have to stand around like an aerial. Oh god, that just looks ridiculous. I feel like I'm some sort of tourist guide. Start off walking again. I'll give you audio commentary when I think it's not streaming. It seems to be working again. Ooh, oh god, nearly tripped over. Let's not do that. Seems to be at an angle still. I can't seem to figure that out. Hang on. Uh, use my other hand. Oh, it just loves to be at an angle. Let me push it down a bit. That's a bit better. I was not happy about that. It's not it. <laughs> Angles it is. <laughs> to understand it though. Why? Should be balanced. Camera on that direction, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna reset the gyroscope thing. So I'll just it'll flip. <laughs> Might be better. I think he knows what straight is now. Right, this is the part, this is me up to part two. Just find a safe place to cross. Here comes a lorry. Away, you're not seeing anything right now. It's quite a nice bit as well.
It's bizarre. Every now and then it just decides it's completely fine and then it just immediately isn't. I'll have to test something better. I did see an app that someone was using walking through the streets of London. Um, I just can't remember what it was called. I just gotta find a way to bring that into the stream thing. Disappointed with this though, unfortunately. Still, you can see some things. It's quite a lot of ash trees. Uh, I see it's stopped streaming just at the moment. I want to show you something. Um, I'll stand here until it gets a still frame. I'd imagine it will. Yeah, there's lots of ash trees there with uh, red dots on. It's all to do with ash dieback, so they're having to fell them. It's a, it's a really bad disease. I questioned a guy once when I was on a walk about it. And um, it's like 80% or more than that of all ash trees in Britain to be felled because of this disease. It's, just, it's, it's mentally bad. This is a nice spot. If it blooming works. Oh, well, you get the idea. <laughs> There's about, yeah, there's quite a few mill houses, so bumpkin, there's 20 wheels, I think, 21 dams.
Uh, why would it work? I've got a full signal there. <laughs> I can tell the oh, there's a runner coming. I can tell there's the yeah, audio is working. It's a lovely pond. Sometimes where we see the heron. Stand it till it works. Right, I'm going to try one more setting, so it will mean the stream will just go off briefly. Sorry about this. Some excellent faffery occurring. Um, I will just lose you briefly again while I try this. It's really annoying, it just works at the start, you know. If I stand still, it's beautiful. I'm just going to see if it's to do with the sound, so I'm just going to change something. Oh wow, that's gone off. Oh, there we go. Huh. All right. So, yeah, still getting my sound at least. Okay, off I go again. Yes, this ice is over in winter, as you can imagine. It's rather, rather nice. basically lost all the recordings I was doing so never mind I'll perfect this and maybe we'll do it again properly at some point or maybe I'll just record one <laughs> and then upload it and then it could be in 4k at 60 frames a second that would be amazing Nice day for it. A babbling thing to my left as well. I'm really holding up for a bit for some reason. So now I've said it, it'll die, won't it?
Nice little outlook, isn't it, with the cold path? So I have to be sure not to uh, lose my footing. Can you imagine running this? It's a, <laughs> a bit of a peg, especially at night. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's very. Oh dear. This is choppy. Hang on. Mm. Um, I don't know what to do. I might change. Is it working now? It is working now. Change the network of the streaming machine to use my backup internet, uh, but it's just not good enough to cope uh, with this stream. You know, the things you do while you're in the Rivland Valley. <laughs> um, let me just, I'm just going to down, downgrade the bitrate a little bit of the stream. Just see if we can get it stable. appear to be okay. okay. I mean, it's it's stable-ish. I 
think because I'm in this remote desktop as well, it's probably not helping. But, um, sorry, I'm talking nerdy now. I mean, I shouldn't be. Right, I'm going to minimise that. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, apologies for that. It appears my internet at home went completely kaput. Um, it's meant to be a gigabit. It went down to 10 megabits for uh, anyone's uh, delectation. Thankfully, I've had like, complete control over everything. So even though I'm like a mile and a half away from home, still managed to uh, sort that out. So we're on a different network now. It might actually work differently because the, the stream from my phone is now going to a different ISP, which means it might actually be better. I mean, it seems pretty solid at the moment. Um, anyway, I thought I'd start it on this um, little area because it's, it's, this is where I used to sit for a bit. Uh, in lockdown, 10 minutes a day, I had an app called Calm and um, many, many, many thoughts have gone through my brain in this particular spot. Um, yeah, I'd like to share that with you. We're not at the end yet. Um, I will just double check if this is actually getting through to the real world. Uh, as if I should enjoy the walk. This is, you know, I enjoy streaming. <laughs> I enjoyed both. Um, it turns out the internet provider I've got at home is rubbish because this is now rock solid. Should have been doing it on this one the whole time. Okay, nice. I'm watching the stream as well in real time. Look at this. Mad, isn't it? Technology. That's working well. Good, nice that you're all still tuning in. Thank you. 17 of you. Um, it's getting windy. Sorry about the noise. Right, I'll stop streaming on there using up all the bandwidth, but at least now it seems to be working. Finally. Oh, he says that and then it drops. Anyway, it's a little bit more of this, so bear with me. Oh, hello, Wendy. <laughs> Yeah, streaming streams. Wendy's my stepsister. I don't know if she'll mind me telling you that. Um, I haven't walked with Wendy down here. I've walked with her sister, Hazel, in these parts. Asked if you can hear me. Let's just check. Oh, it does work. The audio is almost too loud, isn't it? Right. Well, perhaps now I know that it's working, other than battery life probably being an issue, I can walk all the way back. <laughs> Just when you thought you'd got to the end. There's some elevated bits on the way back, which probably will help with signals. But I think it turns out it's not really the signal, but just my rubbish connection at home. Classic. You know, I pay over £200 a month for that connection. It's business grade. I'm not so businessy now. They owe me money for interrupting my lovely stream. There's people around, so I'm being careful not to shoot them, as it were. Oops. That was nearly an arse over to its moments. There's no blimmin' wildlife, is there? You can hear the odd cheapy cheep. You usually see more hens and... Well, allegedly there's kingfishers down here somewhere. 
never seen one. Um, yeah, they're all, they're all on their lunch break. chasing people. I'm going to try and overtake these people. Oops, I've cocked up the video a bit there. <laughs> Sun's coming out. Well, there's a, a jackdaw. Oh no, it's all gone wrong on the on the other end, isn't it? Right, let me figure that out. Maybe it just needs another flip. Oh, God. Come back, come back. I don't know what's going on there. That's hilarious. Hang on. Well, somehow I managed to do some ridiculous picture in picture now that I don't know how that's happened. Ugh. Right now I'll come back to life. 
No. Nope. Maybe it has to go the other way. <sighs> this is just a cacophony of crap, isn't it? It works briefly as it turns sideways, I think, because the... Oh, I need to just do something. Hang on. <laughs> Oh my god. Did anything else go wrong? This is the joy, isn't it? Oh, it's not really streaming very well at home. I think it's just a little bit too much for it. Ugh. I guess we'll see. I think without meaning to, I've walked past something that I was going to show you. Never mind. <laughs> it's only a plunge pool. It's where sometimes we uh, go for a dip. Right, so I remember not to turn it sideways again. That was good. working quite well now I say that so I don't literally as I said it it stopped working well <sighs> right so I'm just not gonna care <laughs> I think is as you walk around talking of badgers you can kind of smell them same smell I get on my ground feeder I clean up every morning I don't think we have gone past the punch pool actually Ah, I can see there's a feral at home. That's nice. I think you can hear the crows at uh, at, your, at my house. I'm not hearing any here. I'm watching your your chat room now. There's a runner coming through. Oh yeah, yeah, not bad. That was the camera crew. They were kindred spirits for a second. Here's the lesser spotted stumpy tree. Again, it'll be an ash. It's the red dot. The red dot of death. Jurassic Park now because we're 
a little bit high up. It gets better actually on the way back. Sea routes everywhere, quite hard to walk on. More stepping stones. I don't think there's any point in me speaking with all that noise, and it was quite nice. I am tremendously lucky. You're right. Thanks, Ems. I know this. It was an absolute lifesaver when we couldn't go out, couldn't see our friends. I wasn't having the best time anyway. And God, uh, you know, it's a place that allows you to just connect with everything. And, uh, I don't want to get all spiritual and deep, but I mean, I did I think I some fairly life-changing. Oh. That was amusing. I was just getting philosophical and it literally crashed. Uh, the web page that I'm using just just went, just died. Uh, I will check that it's reconnected though. Seems to have done. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, the valley was a cathartic place to come. Um, I'm very lucky to have it on my doorstep. That's it. Uh, wasn't more deep than that, really. I love the way it just decided to bail, though, just as I was getting all... I swear the universe honestly does things like that sometimes, to throw you. 
the uh, simulation of pushing buttons. Uh, this is the plunge pool, so you, it's deep enough. Maybe I should have put my swimming trunks on, but it is deep enough to jump in there where that waterfall is, as I have done many times. You just basically discard your kit on that bench and go down these little steps. Um, yeah, it's it. I've never touched the bottom actually, but I've dived right in. I think it must be yeah a few meters deep. Oh, it's always for a swim. There you go. Upper coppice wheel. So that's kind of it. There is a bit more. Um, I'm going to just show you a map. Um, that's not very good. Hang on. So, stupid Google. I think I dropped a pin. Didn't want to drop a pin. Basically, Sheffield's there. Where are that blue dot? It pretty much walks. Well, basically, you can see greenery there. And at this bridge here, I'm gonna cr go across it, and so we'll come back a slightly different way. I mean, I'm in for a penny now. Now, it's, now it works fairly well. I might as well carry on until until the batteries die. Um, I've no idea what the state of them is actually. Let me just see if I can pull it down without killing everything. No, <laughs> so I'll have no idea until it tells me off. I might try plugging it in, see if I can get that to work. A little maintenance while we go along, put my readers on. Just enjoy the ambient noise. Let's dip down to nothing again.
Hmm. Damn it. I lost the sellotape that I used to tape up the cable. I have to tape it up so that it doesn't pull on the thing or the gyroscope complains and then it beeps. <laughs> it's so complicated. Just check the other pocket. No, I'll try plugging in without taping it up and see what happens. Not a happy bunny at the moment. Okay. I think it's going to be a bit less stable. Oh, it's not happy. Uh. Okay. It's the badger. Right, I think we're at the holy grail of charging and streaming. And I shall restart. Or at least, yeah. it's about actually catch some video on this one. Okay. Let's do part two. Um, most of it is the same as part one. <laughs> oh, why is it dying now? It's not like being charged. They're so sensitive, these things. They're like... Charging. It seems to be working. On and off. So yeah, most of this walk on the way back is the same as on the way there, but there's a nice little detail. I've just realised I'm storing my reading glasses, which is why I can't see anything in the distance. And I'm using my phone to see where I'm going. Hang on. I'll just take these off. <laughs> ah! Sorry, fly in my ear. What the heck? It happens at once. I think it's times like this, you wish you had like four hands. Um, Distance-wise, it was, um, let me think, it's about five, five kilometres after the bottom where I started. I don't know why it's died. Come back, come back. Doing its best, but the best isn't that good. Alright, I'm just going to play along. Yeah, it comes and goes. I'll pop the chat up so we can converse at least. Yeah, so I was talking about the distance. Sorry, yes, hello, Nicola, by the way. What's below? Um, it's three miles each way. Um, it kind of ends, it, you can go further. Yeah. Okay, it's gone to crap again. I presume you can hear me. Um, you can go further, but uh, it's like a reservoir, and then it's a whole other walk, and then it's not really a river and valley anymore. 
So it's pretty much most of it. Oh, that noise is. We'll be slightly off the beaten track as we go. Should we hop them round or let's go down here? There's lots of paths you can take. If we're lucky we might see a sheep. Not in the valley, but just in the field. To the right. It's a bit Jurassic Park now, we're quite high up. That's the path we were on, just down there. And go through the tunnel of trees. A little outlook down here. Hopefully, it's the phone. That's uh, probably just crossed that with the stepping stone. You can't really see actually, too much too brambles in the way. I'm gonna go back up. Oh, nut things on the floor. That's how I'm how well versed I am in nature. I'm nut things. Oh yeah, the sheep. There weren't any. Sorry about that. <laughs> Holly. At least I know that. Uh, I'm holding the camera, Suzanne. It's a it's a very cheap thing off Amazon. <laughs> seventy quid. I say very cheap, still seventy quid, but it's a gyroscope, so it's like a steady cam. It's the, this is my old iPhone. It's not that good at uh, steady shots. Uh, it's got a little joystick so I can kind of stand still and kind of move right and left, up and down. So, whilst keeping well, my dodgy footsteps from ruining the smoothness too much. It's the first time it's had a really good outing, actually. I bought it in lockdown. I did a couple of Instagram videos on my secret personal Instagram, which I don't even use anymore because Birdman's taken over. There's a field. I used to have sheep in it. 
not anymore. Uh, so that was in lockdown, but um, yeah, it's the first time it's been properly taken out. So I'm excited. I knew it would have a, re a good reason eventually. All right, this is always a bit fraught, actually. I've just remembered I have to jump here. That's going to be interesting. Get down here. You could literally witness me break my leg. Normally I have both my arms available to help. Oh God. Right, here's the here's the leap of faith. God, I hope I don't lose the phone. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Just bit back. Right. No injuries, but then oh god, this is steep. Lost my foot in there. Well, I have a story about. I don't know if I should tell it on here actually. <laughs> and, <laughs> When I was, I was in the dating scene once upon a time, and a part of the valley had this tree stump that I was on a date. This was during the pandemic, so you could you could only socially distance with people. It was like trying to meet somebody, and uh, she slipped. Well, she didn't slip. Actually, she caught her foot on a on a tree stump and dislocated her. Was it her shoulder? Yeah. And I did, I had to, God, we had to call the ambulance. And it was a, that was a hell of a day. Um, we, we kept in touch. It was very pleasant, but it's uh, probably one of the worst dating stories I've got. Um, we just started talking about politics as well, you know? It's not my favorite subject. I was kind of saying, I just don't engage with it, not party politics. And so that went a bit south because she was very not like that. <laughs> anyway, I won't go into too much detail. But yeah, it just seemed very like universe kind of decided to uh, pull a stunt at that moment. Ah, oh, hang on. We've come across a different field that does have sheep. That was that terrible tail. Whoa. Um, where are we? I can't really zoom in on them, but they are there, I promise. Oh, it's because I got it plugged in now, it's all at a funny angle. There's some sheep. There you go, Nicholas Bum. Oh, shit. Sorry. Just trying to counterbalance it with the wire. It's not quite working. Oh! That was a very close by sheep, so I startled it. Good afternoon. Hello. Matt. Uh, yes, Nicola's mum says hi. Uh, well, I think I got through. I'm sure it'll pass it on to its fellow sheep. You're welcome, Linda. Both Lindas. <laughs> Hello, both Lindas. Yes, I am wearing a jumper. Maybe it's thinking that's my long lost cousin you're wearing. I think it is wool.
at all. Seems to have slowed down again. So it's been a lot better in the second half, hasn't it, than the first half? We are quite high up now. I can kind of demonstrate that without. I don't really want to fall to my death for the sake of getting a shot. Determined to be a really ca candid angle now. I can pull it up, perhaps. Oh, I've tied it in a knot, haven't I? Bird that's literally saying tweet. You probably can't tell, but it's quite steep. And I haven't got any hands to sort of steady my balance. I'm going sideways. Right. Back to ground now, ground level.
I'm just glad it worked out in the end. I don't know what to do for next time. That's always the way I need to troubleshoot these things. But this half has worked pretty well. Couple of ducks. Hello, ducks. <laughs> the most exciting wildlife we've had. If I stand long enough near the start, there'll be some um, grey wagtails. Definitely. At this point, we haven't seen the heron. Good old Harold, he's always around. Welcome back. <laughs> it just randomly bails every now and then. I think uh, it's just not designed to be used for this long or something. I don't know. I think I am using a beta version of it as well, which probably doesn't help. Yes. I've seen gold crests actually up in Scotland. Aren't they the smallest bird? Um, Dumfries and Galloway. Oop, person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gone dead, hasn't it? Come on. stand here, it's going to be bally well work. Uh, no dead battery yet. I catered for all the sort of, all that kind of thing, but yeah, not the network being so terrible. Um, I can't do much about. It's gone, it's gone to crap again. Well, don't know why though. Let's see if I'm getting anything at the other end. Hmm. Yeah, something coming through. I think it misreports it a bit, you know. It's, um, something's happening. Yeah, they're so light, aren't they? Like 20, 20 grams or something or less than that. Disappointed with this now cutting out at this point when it was working so well. Ah, hang on. I need to set a setting I didn't set, which will break it again. Hang on. Do, do, do. Let's do that. Oh, come on. Where is it? Um... Hang on, I'll be back. Hello. We're live streaming again. <sighs> I forgot to set something and it's 
it turns it into rubbish land. Right. There's some I'm going right. There's some trees. Shame there's no sunlight poking through. I was hoping there'd be because you, you just get so many shadows and effects of light um, with the sun. It's quite amazing. And I have been in the middle of this in a thunderstorm as well, which is exceptionally frightening, but brilliant and being rained on very heavily. Can't be helped, Susan and, and Nicola. I think it's just, it really is just the network at the moment. It seems to be back for now. Well, uh, I get a little indication in the top corner of the screen that tells me how much data is being sent. So it's kind of, I can tell from that how rubbish it's going to be at the moment. I think it'll be fine. So, you yeah, know, it was a good test. Oh, this is the place where I used to come and sit. So, oh, that's just meander down. It used to be absolutely full of trees here. I don't know what happened for them to change it. But in fact, I don't know, the swing, there was a rope. People used to swing on that rope. Well, swing on the little seat that was attached to the rope. Um, yeah, this was all completely covered in trees and they fell a load. I guess it's ash again. Yeah, this is the old, the old sitting stop. My watch has only just decided I'm doing a workout. <laughs> Obviously not walking hard enough. I forgot to set one off, there'll be quite a lot of steps. It'll measure it anyway. You can imagine in a month's time, this will all be orange. There'll be an awful lot of leaves on the floor. Maybe I'll do one of these every season. It's really quite something in winter as well, as you can imagine. Swallow wheel. Like I say, I think there was 20 wheels in the valley. I don't know if you caught all the stuff I said at the start, but it's basically the heritage here goes back 700 years. So there's ruins of various bits of industry. They use the power of the river to uh, mainly do things with metals cutlery and such like.
it's quite a scenic bit with these cobbles and this thing. Oh yeah. Another oh, dog walker. That's some sort of gun to shit again. Yes, dive. Come on, come back. It's really lovely with the sun. I can see birds having a bath at home. I don't know why it's gone, gone to crap now. I guess I'll just get out of this area. I'm stopped here trying to capture that view, but it's probably fruitless. I don't understand it. Come on. Yeah, I seem to be getting like one frame of limb in a second. I don't know what's going on there. Well, we had it good for a bit, but it's just absolutely stuck now. Oh well. I don't know if you can hear me. I'll keep on walking, as they say. It's just to refresh it. Let's just refresh it. Oh, hang on. Are we getting a signal now? Something happening? No. Okay. It's weird, isn't it? I think there's something in the software, you know. Maybe I won't use the beta version next time. Right, I'm going to refresh, so I'm going to disappear again.
Okay. Yeah. Just giving it a reset has worked. I don't know. Dodgy. I'll find a more rock solid thing. Right enough for the next time. Um, has it ever been used for filming? I don't know. Well, there was a camera crew walked past. <laughs> um, and earlier in the year, there was a skit on Country Fire about the Rivenden Valley and long tailed tits. I think it's probably on iPlayer somewhere. Which, you know, you might actually have heard. Um, there's a lot of them. Um, 800 breeding pairs or something. I was amazed when I heard what she said because I was like, I've never seen any. Well, only my garden. Well, I've seen one lot in my garden. They must have escaped. I think they just like the valley that much. Let's go back around the pond where the heron sometimes hangs out. There's some bulrushes there. It's rather nice. No heron today. a moor hen, miles away. Let's see if I can, oh, there's one over there. Let's see if I can catch one. Hens trails there. Actual sunshine coming through now.
give the odd bit of... It just looks so different when the sun comes out. Somewhere in here is the badger set. I see it's gone to poo again. Do I refresh? I see you're moving to Sheffield, Nicola. Well, you're more than welcome. There's loads more like this. It's right on the edge of the Peak District. It's perfect for that sort of thing. Right, so you're going to come back to life because I want to show you a waterfall. I think you might be stuck. When it gets here, it gets stuck, I think. Come on, unstick yourself. Up you go, up, up, up. There we go. A bit of bandwidth back. That is a bridge that goes under a road. And once upon a time, Tom told me that he'd spoken to somebody who said that Limpy lived in a culvert under a road near some water. So in my mind, I've always imagined Limpy living down there. <laughs> Could be down here, of course. Civilization briefly. More oh, sun, look at the sun now.
This was the fateful place where the tree stump was. Uh, take a shortcut, but uh, no, let's not. I'm gonna make you watch it all. Come on. I'm waiting for it to uh, start streaming properly again. Come on. Seems to be all creeping up. Right. Hello, Summer Styles. I recognise your name. You've popped in a few times. I've probably given it enough charge so I can stop this tilting now. Excuse me a minute. Ah, it's best to... Just un unfurling a cable. Done well not to drop anything yet. Oh, that's better. It's been holding things up for ages. 
Yeah, you see what I mean by light effects? It's like, I've got some nice slow mos in my time. <coughs> Excuse me. The camera's overcompensating, so it's looking a lot more bleached out than it does to my eyes, but it is really quite lovely. Quite a big uh, ruin here, and I can't—I don't actually know what it is. I think it's an old house, but at certain times a year, this tree um, stump gets enormous amounts of mushrooms on it. I don't see them at the moment. So, yeah. oh wow, there's some little beetles. Look at these. Ooh. Freaky. I'm gonna focus. Ooh. I can't make it do anything. And yeah, so it's all kind of. I think they don't want people treading in it because it gets a bit uh, boggy. There's, you can't really see much. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that tree stump there in the middle gets gets all kinds of mushrooms growing out of it. It's kind of fascinating. Not yet. It'll be in the autumn. Oh, there's a duck having a bath. Oh, I just saw a grey wagtail. <laughs> Probably very unlikely you did, but there was one, I promise. A little flash of yellow. Some people Let's steer this away. There's some stepping stones here that I didn't go over, so let's go over them and contemplate life on a bench. I have had a meaningful moment of my life there too, many years previous to the pandemic. Um, can't really explain that one. But <laughs> I sat on that bench anyway and looked at ducks for a while. Um, so let's go do the same. Follow me in my life. get wet now. Right. I don't see many ducks. It's very devoid of life today. They must be off feeding, trying to get the breakfast or oh, lunch. Definitely lunch at this point. It's quarter past one. So I'm going to start this half ten. Oh my god! What am I doing? I had no idea it was a three-hour walk. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the tracks now. I hope I can get back this way. I think I can. I think I might have to go through a, a kind of barbed wire off area, but that's fine. Some people pulled it down a couple of years ago. I don't think anyone cares. Piece of machinery for you.
Yeah, the shoes are waterproof, but these are my old boots, the trusty boots that I've walked over a thousand miles in, and they they unfortunately are falling apart, so they will let water in now, but I bought some new boots, but they're just I'm so bad, I can't bear to wear them. Uh, annoyingly, the stream's gone kaput again, isn't it? Just wait. There we go. It's coming back to life. Oh no, it isn't. No, oh, well, I'll stop looking at that gauge and look at the scenery. <laughs> no, we don't have to go through a barbed wire. I'm thinking of a different bit. The bridge here. It's always in the nice scenery bits. It dies. Come on. I might kick it. Do you reckon? Very good kicking. Mm -hmm. Trying, isn't it? And it's failing. It's annoying though, is that I can watch the stream. I've got no problem with my network at all. It's just the way the stream is coming out of this phone is going a funny way. <sighs> Come on, let's have some. Let's have some stream. No, I think it's stuck again. I'm going to refresh it now. Okay, just have more ambient sound now. We had a, an echo cancellation option switched on, which I thought I'd switched off. It's just so annoying. It's like a web page. It's not even an app. So, anyway, we're back. I'm going over a bridge. I've got an itch, so I'm just going <laughs> to prop this up and give myself a scratch. I see the ferals having fun at home still. <laughs> uh, I have to go out there and cage that up. We figured out quite quickly how to get to the sea, didn't we?
There's a mag guy. Hmm. Also some people, so I'm trying to avoid the people. Sorry for the boring scenery. Have a look at the sky. I treat myself to ice cream at the uh, at the cafe. They are rather good. I think I've burnt a few calories today. Uh, CXS stopped streaming again. Damn you, internet! I thought in this day and age, I better maintain a blooming stream. I bet if I was on FaceTime with somebody, it would work. It's very annoying. Matters doesn't seem to be streaming properly. Threatens to work again and then just doesn't. Come on, let's have a stream, shall we? Hmm, yeah, it's really patchy, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to refresh it again. I don't trust it's going to come back, he says. No. Okay, here we go. Hello. Honestly, every time I reset it, it's fine. I'm going to have a good play with this software at some point. I mean, I was literally up till three in the morning last night, <laughs> making sure it would work. And it didn't fail once, and I was just sat on my bum in the living room. <clears throat> so, this is the last little bit of um, running water. So I was hoping to see some wildlife because there's normally some some wagtails and things here but there really isn't <coughs> literally nothing they call it a nature trail there's no nature it's a lie there's just well there is nature there's water and trees 
but you know, some of the good stuff, like burbs. It's nice that the weather's there. Not good. So try not to get the uh, children's playground in here. But I might just get you as, as far as the cafe. Um, I'm just going to go over there because I thought I saw a bird. <laughs> it could be the most exciting thing that's happened. Ugh, has the stream died again? Uh, let's point the camera down. It's all around here. I think this is where my journey will end and uh, you can't even see it because it's not working. There's some toilets. But uh, yeah, it's time for, well, there's a map which isn't working. Come on internet. There we are. Finally see something. Uh, we walked all of this. Oh, this is the most awkward shot. Oh, there we are. Um, don't know if it's working, but that'll do. That'll do. Thank you for joining me. Had no idea I was going to take three hours over it. I, I'm so sorry. But that was nice. That was six miles, nearly. I haven't walked the last bit. Five and a half. I'm going to have an ice cream now. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Oh, God, it's my face. <laughs>